it. Hi everybody! It's Mrs. Miklos and I'm here to read you my one of my favorite stories. It's called Elmer. And it's Elmer the Elephant by David McKee. And I don't know about you, but maybe my dog Sam might want to hear the story too. We'll see. All right, let's hear this one. It's about Elmer. There was once a herd of elephants. Elephants young, elephants old, elephants tall and short, fat and thin. All were different, but all were happy, and almost all were the same color. All except Elmer. Elmer was not elephant color. He was patchwork. Elmer was yellow and orange and red and pink and purple and blue and green and black and white. It was Elmer who kept the other elephants happy. Their games and jokes were always his idea. If an elephant was laughing, the cause was usually Elmer. Look at, they're playing with them upside down. They're having a good time. But Elmer himself wasn't happy. Who ever heard of a patchwork elephant, he thought. No wonder they laugh at me. And one morning, just as the others were waking up, Elmer slipped away. As he walked through the jungle, Elmer met other animals. Good morning, Elmer, they said. After a long walk, Elmer found what he was looking for, a large bush covered with elephant-colored berries. Elmer caught hold of the bush and he shook it until all the berries fell on the ground. Then Elmer lay down and rolled over on the berries this way and that. He picked up bunches of berries and rubbed himself all over until he was covered with berry juice. When he had finished, there wasn't a sign of any yellow or orange or red or pink or purple or blue or green or black or white. <gasps> Elmer, he just looked like any other elephant. On his way through back through the jungle, Elmer passed the other animals. Good morning, elephant, they said. When Elmer rejoined the herd, none of the other elephants even noticed him. It's hard to tell which one he is, isn't it? As he stood there, Elmer felt like something was wrong. But what? Hmm. He looked around. Same old jungle, same old blue sky, same old rain cloud, same old elephants. The other elephants were standing absolutely still, silent and serious. Elmer had never seen them so serious before. It kind of made him want to laugh. Finally, he could bear it no longer. He lifted his trunk and at the top of his voice, he shouted, Boo! Oh boy, look at that. The other elephants jumped in surprise. Elmer was helpless with laughter. Then the others began to laugh. Too bad Elmer isn't here to share the fun, they said, laughing harder and harder. Well, at that point, the rain cloud burst. And when the rain fell on Elmer, his patchwork started to show again. Oh, Elmer gasped an old elephant as Elmer was washed back to normal. You played some good jokes, but this has been the biggest laugh of all. What would we do without you? We must celebrate this day every year, said another, the day of Elmer's best joke. All of us ele elephants will decorate ourselves in his honor, said a third, and Elmer will decorate himself elephant color. Hmm. And uh, one day each year, the elephants color themselves yellow or orange or red or pink or purple or blue or green or black or white and they have a parade and if you happen to see an elephant in the elmer's day parade who is an ordinary elephant color you will know it must be elmer the end isn't that a fun story boys and girls well today you also have a project that's on the computer you maybe your mom or dad can help you with and you'll get to cut out an, an elephant shape 
and maybe you can make a beautiful patchwork element with all different colors, with stickers or papers, or even paint. So, all right, I'll see you later. Bye everyone.